Hello creative designers, have you tried to figure out how you can convert your website to support multiple currency? On this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can add this function to your e-commerce website. We are going to use the free resources that is free plugin, the one that will help us to add this function. You can see I can convert to my Kenya, to my Kenya shillings or I can also convert to a United States dollars. With this function, you can be able to yeah. With this function, you can be able to, to change currency from one uh, one type of it to another currency, all for free. My name is Peter. Let's get into action and we get it light. So what you need to do, we get to the dashboard and we scroll on the dashboard menu and we find the button for plugin. I don't know how far you see. We have the three uh, this three option. Select a new plugin. We are just directed to this uh, plug the part story and we search the plugin that we are going to use which is called multi currency for WooCommerce. Yeah we have so many options here but the one we are going to use is from Vida theme. You can see it has more than 10,000 active installation. We install the plugin. After successful installation we activate the plugin. After the activation now we have this uh, Android button here on the dashboard menu. We select on it multi currency yeah this is where we are going to set our plugin from so we need to enable this plugin to function so it can be active on our website so we need to open our blog our e-commerce website in a new page so that we can see the function itself you can see we have it for now and uh, we open to the shop here we have it so we need to add some more function we need to set some more function on it so we need now to come and add a new currency the new currency to be default currency you just have to switch on in between with the one that's are available as your default the other thing now you can select your currency you can choose the currency you just want to use i want the first uh, i want the to use the first currency as United States dollars, and I want to use the second uh, the second st currency as my Kenya shillings. So I search for lead, and we have it highlighted. We select on it. Other about the exchange lead, leave it alone. We come here to to symbol. You need to have the symbol, and we have it. And now we add for the Kenya shillings. It's good to know the the symbol for. The currency and with that we need to save it with that we have added our new currency let's check on it we refresh currently we have only the united states dollar so after we after we update after we refresh the page we have now these two currency available let's let me show you something when we convert to kenya to kenya shillings you see no change of price you may wonder why but let me show you the reason why and we can be able to update the currency the rates of the currency so it can convert from one currency to one currency so we need to get back to the setting and on this uh, on this button here we have to update all rates you see it shows yeah it has updated for now and we save it let's now refresh our page again let's change to kenya to kenya shillings yeah you can see it has just updated even the rating on just convert the kenya shillings uh the us dollar to kenya shillings it has just updated the pricing that's how you can set on it so the other thing the other setting i want to show you is you can set based on location it just auto detect the location you are and it just change the currency the other one you can use google gpi api you can use the one we are using for now is for woocommerce but if you have external you can set for for late but i want to use the woocommerce one the currency by country yeah if you activate this one you need to activate this feature yeah they are supposed to be activated both and with this you cannot uh you need to have maybe a premium version so that if someone is from another country you can it just change automatically the other thing is uh for this the country you want to use us dollars you can add a list of them here 
you can add all those countries that you'll be using the United States dollars. If your currency, the one you just want to convert is international, you can add those countries that are using the currency. That's how you can set the currency with uh, auto detect on location. I don't want to use this feature. The other one is we go to the checkout. We enable the checkout. Someone can pay using the multiple currency. The other thing is now we come to the design. This the way it look on this, and you can see the way it look on our second second domain. So we need to to set the appearance. So we select the design section. We enable the design. If you want to change this, select your currency. You can select. Uh, you can change it from here, or maybe choose your currency. Let's change. Choose your currency and you update. When you refresh this, it should change to choose your currency. You see, that's how you can customize that header there. Then you can select the side you want. If you want to it to be on the light section, light for now is on the light section. If you want it to be on the left side, uh, the left side, just select the left side. The text color I want it to be white style you can select maybe the one you want you can select maybe for flag flag and code flag and currency sable if you select flag and currency sable and you refresh this page here you see how it will look like i wish uh, i want to use the symbol only and I want to save it like that. From there, now we come to design. From there, now we come to the main color. You can see. Let's refresh so that you can be able to set. You can see the background is black. Add on hover on the uh, on one point. It's just done. Uh, this dark red or pink, whatever it is. So we need to change the color to black. I want the text to be white the way it is. Background, let me let it this be color be green like that. Background, let it be black like that. You have you also have this chance. Uh, you also have the, that option. You can change your color to what you want. Conditional tags. I want. I wish not to change anything from here. The short codes I want it to be like that. The text, text color, let it be white. Background, let it be black. Active button, let it be green or maybe whichever color you want to use. And I save the setting. With that, now we have customized our buttons. You can see how it really look like. With that, you can see how it look like. And when you just come and select the currency, it just change the currency to it just convert the currency for you. But this plugin only offers you two currency converter. If you want to add a new, you need a to upgrade to a premium version. That's the lesson for today. I hope it added some value to you. My name is Peter. And if it added some values to you, hit the like button for this video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more WordPress told you to follow. Thank you. I feel pleasure to have you. Looking forward to see you next time. Thank you.